thanks for watching Fishing in Germany. Uh, I decided to try some new rigs out. And usually I tie my own hair rigs. I was at the fishing shop uh, a few days ago getting some supplies and I decided to give these a try. Kind of an impulse buy. And they're these uh, hair rigs with the pallet band, that rubber band around you see by the hook tip. And these are made by Baltzer. Pretty good price, 260 for 10 of them I believe. And um, Basically, you just put the pellet in where that rubber band is. I've never, I've seen these before. I never tried them, and decided to give them a try, and had pretty good success with them so far. So I'm going to keep using them. They're on a short hook link for a method feeder, so it's 12 centimeter, about six inches. First day I went out just with them, and I realized, oh, they, there is this little device that shows on the back to kind of stretch the band around the pellet. I didn't have that, so I just grabbed. A, I tried to do it by hand. It's pretty difficult. So I just grabbed a, a baiting needle and stretched the band out and slipped the pellet through. Next day I just brought a pair of uh, tweezers to open it up. So you don't really need that device to put the band on. It might make things a little easier, but it's, it's not that hard. Um, but I had good luck with this. Uh, the first day I caught a really big carp. I think it was, whoa, I can't remember the, the weight. That was on the last video, you can see it. Fought like crazy, over three minutes fighting it. And next day I went out there and caught my new personal best, which I'll show you the video of next. And that's a common carp that was 5.7 kilos. Um, today, I gotta go to work in about an hour, then uh, I should be out a little earlier today with the daylight savings. I'm gonna have a bit of sunlight after work. And I, it's gonna depend on weather. It's been raining on, off and on today, so if it's not raining too hard, I'll, I'll go out there for a little bit in the evening as well and try these out again. I also found I could take like a cut off chunks of um, Emmental or cheese. Usually I'll, I'll cut out a piece and kind of leave it out to harden up a bit and it holds onto those great too. Um, but yeah, I think um, these are proving to be pretty effective so I'll try that again. With this carp I, I caught it on a pretty strong um, braided line so I was able to get it in pretty quickly. Um, I'm using a cage feeder. I think is I've got these new ones. I think they're from Preston Innovations as a company, and those seem to be really good as well. I mean, a cage feeder is more or less a cage feeder. I kind of like the way they're they're attached though. It's on this like a thick rubber band, so it stretches a bit and has. It, I haven't had any problems with them breaking off or anything like I do with the other ones. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna now put up that video I was talking about with, where I'm catching this new personal best and. Hopefully get some more footage this evening of catching other fish. Stay tuned for the next one. bigger and darker than yesterday. I might try those for bait. That was only 
two minutes to fight, yes? There's three minutes. So, saw one little bite so far, and that was it. So, I think if it's anything like yesterday, it'll be a good day today. 